Hello, this is Telmir, and welcome to another repair video. We are looking at an iPhone 12, and uh, what the issue is, I'm being told, is that it has a problem with its flash. So I don't have the Penelope screws out yet. So we're gonna get those out, get this on the heating pad, and we're gonna find out what is going on with this phone. So I do have a old phone that's been completely and totally gutted. You'll notice that it does still have its flash. So I can use that if uh, that's what is needed to, to, if that's what needs to be replaced. So um, at least I've got the part on hand and I won't even need to purchase it. Always nice to have the part rate on hand not having to spend some money on that. The customer already knows that I'm going to be taking it out of a pre-existing phone, so we're good there. So we got the phone turned on. Now, originally the customer said that there was an issue with the camera, at least that's what it was reported to him. And later on, he said that there was an issue with the flash. So I'm going to turn the camera on immediately and let's just see what it pops up on the camera. I'm not seeing anything on the camera. It's black. I've spoken with the customer and I've informed him. Apparently he was saying to me in the first place that the camera wasn't working. I basically misunderstood what he was saying. So that's that's all right. I, I am a bit worried though now because when you've got both the camera and the flash not working, I'm starting to think maybe there's an issue on the motherboard and I don't know if I can fix that. So I'm gonna get the screen off of here. I've got another iPhone 12 that um, I bought for as a parts phone. I can get the camera lens out of there, camera lens, the camera out of there, and I'm gonna use that for testing immediately. Just playing around with the camera here, something I have noticed, the face cam works. That, that's very, that's very reassuring. So at least the camera works. I don't think that camera flash is working, but it's taking pictures there, but if you switch it back to the camera, the back, back camera, it's getting nothing at all. Well, maybe it is the camera module. I'm, I'm really hoping it is. Maybe that's also why the flash isn't working. It has something to do with the camera module not working and I might not have to replace the flash at all. I'm really hoping not to have to replace the camera flash. It is a royal pain. Now this one is pretty hard to get out. I'm pretty sure for the iPhone 12 series, you can see it's not moving. Now I don't lift doing this but I do just stick the blade down here, get the port protecting it. And then I can dribble a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and that'll loosen up the seal on that spot. That's really all I need there. By doing that, it will uh, make it a little bit easier for me to pop this up. Now, the reason why I do this is because in the past, I have had situations where I split the screen in half, trying to get the screen up which was very painful and uh, a little bit pricey. <laughs> the seals for the iPhone 12 series of phones is so incredibly, in incredibly tough to get through. There, we got it. Battery's disconnected, so we can remove this camera right now. There. Put it over here, get this camera module. Let's throw that in there. I am positive that if there's an X and a D on there, it means the camera's dead. Why did I keep the part for? What was I thinking? Was I trying to confuse myself? So the camera is working. It's not focusing though. So that's obviously why I tossed it. It's because the camera itself is not working. But I bet you the flash is working now. Can try that. <laughs> oh, I just needed the camera to replace, but the camera that I've got here is blurry and refuses to focus. So I'm immediately going to just chuck that camera. Here we are. Had to land face down, didn't it? Oh, I hope it's okay. It's not dusty on my mat, fortunately but always feels painful when you have a camera land face down. I'm not putting any shields on. I'm just going to reconnect the power. We're going to see what it does. Actually, no. I'm going to put one shield down. I want to hold it all down in place before moving on. Okay, that should be good enough for now. Everything is in place. May as well start off with the flashlight. Beautiful. And now the camera. Now, are you focusing? 
it is focusing. How about the other camera? Yes. Yes. It's doing what it's supposed to. That's definitely fixed. You can put that phone back together. Okay, I've got that seal all cleaned up. And uh, it was pretty dirty in there. Um, should be easy enough to get this one in. Here we are. Never had one go in that easily. Just plop right in. Let's now put in the rest of the screws, get that screen connected back up. Okay, I've got all the plates in. One final test before we go and put it all back together. That's working. Camera is working as well. Ah, that one side's already stuck in place. I didn't want it yet to do that. Just gonna put a tiny amount of alcohol in that corner there. We'll get that to loosen up. I like to start off with the top of the phone first. Get to just push that into place like that so that it will slip in more easily at the bottom. This isn't so much a problem with the iPhone 12 models as they're pretty solid. They are, they, you can't make mistakes with them as, or have problems with uh, putting them back together nearly as much as uh, the iPhone 11 series and down. At least that's my, been my experience. Penelope screws in. And here we go, guys. It is working. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, that's, that's great. I, I was really concerned that it was going to be a motherboard fault. Oh, that would have been terrible. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.